Hello, second grade, part two for language, March 31st. And to start us off, I want to read us a story. Now, we all love Frog and Toad, and I'm gonna read you a story from Frog and Toad, our friends. Yes, you've probably heard it or read it before, but I wanna read you one that fits with our language lesson today. So here we go. I'm gonna read to you the story, The Letter. The Letter, so here we go. Take a quick look at how huh, Toad looks. So here we are. Toad was sitting on his front porch. Frog came along and said, What is the matter, Toad? You are looking sad. Mm. Here we go. Yes, said Toad. This is my sad time of day. It is the time when I wait for the mail to come. It always makes me very unhappy. Why is that? asked Frog. Because I never get any mail, said Toad. Not ever? asked Frog. No, never, said Toad. No one has ever sent me a letter. Every day my mailbox is empty. That is why waiting for the mail is a sad time for me. Frog and Toad sat on the porch feeling sad together. And here is his mailbox. Mm. Then Frog said, I have to go home now, Toad. There is something that I must do. Frog hurried home. He found a pencil and a piece of paper. He wrote on the paper. He put the paper in an envelope on the envelope, he wrote a letter for Toad. Frog ran out of his house. He saw a snail that he knew. Snail, said Frog, please take this letter to Toad's house and put it in his mailbox. Sure, said the snail, right away. Then Frog ran back to Toad's house. Toad was in bed taking a nap. Toad, said Frog, I think you should get up and wait for the mail some more. No, said Toad, I am tired of waiting for the mail. Frog looked out of the window at Toad's mailbox. The snail was not there yet. Toad, said Frog, you never know when someone may send you a letter. No, no, said Toad, I do not think anyone will ever send me a letter. Frog looked out of the window. The snail was not there yet. But Toad, said Frog, someone may send you a letter today. Don't be silly, said Toad. No one has ever sent me a letter before, and no one will send me a letter today. Frog looked out of the window. The snail was still not there. Frog, why do you keep looking out of the window, asked Toad. Because now I am waiting for the mail, said Frog. But there will not be any, said Toad. Oh, yes, there will, said Frog, because I have sent you a letter. You have, said Toad. What did you write in the letter? <laughs> Frog said, I wrote, Dear Toad, I am glad that you are my best friend. Your best friend, Frog. Oh, said Toad, that makes a very good letter. Then Frog and Toad went out onto the front porch to wait for the mail. They sat there feeling happy together. Huh. Frog and Toad waited a long time. Four days later, the snail got to Toad's house and gave him the letter from Frog. Toad was very pleased to have it. Wasn't Frog a good friend to Toad sending him mail? That was really sweet. So Frog sent Toad what we call a friendly letter. And guess what? Second grade, you've got mail. Oh, maybe you've received a friendly letter. Let's see. Here we go. Oh, there's a thanks in there. 
here we go. Dear second grade students, we are proud of all the hard work you are doing at home. Thank you for always doing your best. Know that we love you and miss you. Keep your eyes focused on Jesus. He is your help. Love, hugs, and prayers, Miss Seha and Mrs. Hobbs. Hey, look, second graders, you just got a friendly letter from your teachers. Woohoo! And so now I want you to go find your friendly letter paper, which is skills practice, page 81, so we can take a look at what's on here. You need a pencil eraser and this paper. Go find it. If you need to press pause, go press pause. Come on back. Take a look at this paper. There's a uh, title, capitals and commas and letter, greetings and closing, and a really big focus box. Now remember, you um, Frog sent a friendly letter to Toad, and then Miss Seha and Mrs. Hop sent a friendly letter to you. We're going to be looking at the greetings and closings of a friendly letter. So here we go. The beginning of a friendly letter is called the greeting or salutation. Salutation is a big word, but it basically means greeting. It's how we open the letter. The first word begins with a capital letter. A comma is written after the name and the greeting. So you have the first word, which is like your greeting word with the person's name. In this case, it's a capital D for deer, capital F for frog, comma. Oh, Toad is writing to frog now. So deer, frog, comma. That is called the greeting or the salutation. Then we have the end of a friendly letter. It's called the closing. The first word begins with a capital. A comma is written after the closing. And then your name is written under the closing because you wrote the letter. In this case, Toad is writing the letter. So it's capital L for love, comma, capital T for Toad. Now, just a quick note. When we're writing a sentence like, I love my mom and dad, because it's in a sentence, you don't capitalize the word love. But when it's in the closing of a letter, a friendly letter, you would capitalize the word love. So love, comma, toad underneath. So that is our uh, focus box. You can look back at it later for what to do. But right now I want you to go ahead and take a look at your um, practice. It says write commas in the list of possible greetings and closings for a friendly letter. So this is where you need your pencil, and really, they helped you out. All you have to do is put the commas in. We're going to put the commas in, and then we're going to talk about it, okay? So first of all, dear Oscar, comma, oops, there we go, respectfully, comma, Oliver, or best wishes, comma, Nola, my dear Nina, comma. So all of these are either greetings or closings. And we want to take a look at that. So now I want you to do something different. I want you to circle the G in greetings and circle the C in closings. Now, we're going to label each one of these, whether it's a G for greeting or a C for closing. So if I said, Dear Oscar, capital D, capital O, comma, Dear Oscar, is that a greeting or is that a closing? Oops, technical difficulties. So, let me just go ahead and switch real fast. We're going to erase and we're going to switch. Here we go. So, your number one says, Dear Oscar, comma. Okay? Now, is that a greeting or a closing? If you said greeting, you're correct. Put a G there. Okay? Number two says, Respectfully, comma, and then the name Oliver. Hey, Oliver, hope you're watching this. You're famous. All right, respectfully, comma, Oliver. Would this be a greeting or a closing? If you said closing, you are correct, put a C there. It's a closing. Notice a capital R, comma, and then the name is underneath with an O. Great name. All right. Then we want to take a look at number three. All right. Number three 
says, best wishes, and then you have your comma, and then we have the person's name underneath, that's a hint, NOLA. So capital B, capital W, okay, best wishes, comma, NOLA. Is this a greeting or is this a closing? Okay. If you said closing, you are correct. One clue is that the words best wishes, that sounds like we're ending something. And then NOLA's underneath it. So your name goes underneath the closing there. Good. And then number four. Number four says, my dear Nina. All right. And then there's a comma. Well, started with a capital at the beginning. Of course, you need a capital for the name. My dear Nina, that sounds like a, if you said greeting, you are correct, put a G. Very good. Now, you should have the front side done. Could you please go ahead and turn it over to the back side? All right. Now, I don't have it, but I do have it right here. So you should be looking at yours, I'm gonna be looking at mine, and here we go. Capitals and commas and letter greetings and closings apply. Add capital letters and commas where they are needed. Use the following proofreader marks. The caret top to insert a comma, and three lines under the letters that need to be capitalized. And here's the letter, here's what it said. Now remember, we said that Toad was gonna to write to Frog this time. Dear Frog, I am glad to have a brave friend like you. You are not afraid to climb the mountain. I tried to be brave when the snake wanted us for lunch, even though I could not stop trembling. The avalanche and the hawk were scary, but lucky for us, we got away. I felt brave with you when I was hiding in bed and you were in the closet. You are my best friend. Love, Toad. Your job right now is to use proofreader marks to fix Dear Frog and use proofreader marks to fix Love Toad. There's no mistakes in the letter, just at the greeting and in the closing. Please do that and then you're done with this work for today. Good job, second grade. Just a reminder, we love you very much. We're praying for you, so here we go.